trainer here. Uh, this week, as it is National Careers Week, uh, we're going to be looking at careers in sports. So, work and physical education actually take you. Now, in the coming minutes, I will be talking about uh, different careers in PE, how you can actually use uh, different websites and view some webinars that will make you actually maybe think about different career pathways within sport and also what you may want to do uh, in the years ahead. So for pupils in year 7 to year 10, it is probably time now to be thinking a little bit about uh, what types of careers you would like in the future. And I'm going to go through those and how we can sort of help you start to think about that. So as part of National Careers Week, uh, I will go through. I've got some PowerPoint slides here of careers in PE and where PE can take you. However, I, from the page that's in front of you now, this will be shared with you in all your Microsoft Teams groups. Uh, there are different, there's a website here which is really, really good, uh, careersinsport.co.uk, uh, uh, which you can access. You can put that into the search engine and bring it up. I'm going to show you that in a minute. There's also three good webinars that you can, you can actually access as well. Some are quite long, some are quite short, but again, you can pause these and go through them uh, whenever you have time. Now, first thing that we are going to look at. So, uh, if you type in careers in sport.co.uk, it takes you to a lovely page here. Uh, there's lots and lots of resources on here. Uh, you can have a look around at the different jobs that are on there, latest jobs to have a look at salaries. You can also go to career path here. So, it will go through apprenticeships, uh, go through about football, further education, health and fitness, uh, sports business media, sports science, teaching and coaching. Obviously, if you think about the PE staff at school, we've all, we've all had to go through different a uh, different uh, career pathways to get to where we are today. So if I just click on one of these just to show you, we'll go on to teaching and coaching. It will go through different careers, jobs, news, and a bit of a director there. So you can have a little bit of a, of a play around, drop in and out of things as you wish. Now, there's a few webinars that you actually can access on YouTube, and it's through Careers in Sport. Now, I've just picked out a few which are actually on the three links that are here. So the first one is Careers in Sports Coaching. Now, some of you uh, may be thinking in years 9 and 10 that I may want to have a career in sports coaching. So again, the webinar here lasts 53 minutes. It is quite a long one. You have got three presenters that are on here, and they're asked questions. Uh, throughout the webinar. So again, if you're interested in sports coaching, please have a listen to the webinar. And again, with the webinars, when you actually click into them, you can actually Hello, move forwards and backwards. And you can find the bits that really interest you. In the second webinar, it's about careers in sport and exercise science. So for those pupils that really enjoy science and love PE and sport, maybe a career in sport and exercise science would be for you. Now the webinar here lasts for 10 minutes and 56 seconds. So again, you can go into the present the webinar and listen and see if you, if anything, if you're interested in sport and science, this may be a potential career pathway for yourselves. And the last one that I put into the link as well which is on the page in front here, is a career in sports business. So for those of you that are probably interested in, especially in year nine, maybe taking business studies or business GCSE or BTEC in year 10 and 11, a career in sports business may be really something that you want to go into. So again, the actual webinar and this one lasts 33 one minutes and 38 seconds. So again, you can log in, have a little bit of a look around find what's interesting for you uh, and I've listened to a couple of minutes on each one and they are quite interesting. I did listen to the one that's for 10 minutes in science so again uh, you can pick and choose what's good for you. All of the webinars and different things are through careersinsport.co.uk so again when you go onto this website there is lots and lots of really valuable information. For those of you that are thinking about how much does a job pay, again you can see here a academy physiotherapist at Burnley is between 23,000 and 26,000 per year. Uh, so again, you can have a look down through. 
There's lots and lots of different jobs. Head of Academy Analysis at Swansea Football Club is quite well paid. Female Engagement Lead Leicester. You've got lots of different jobs that are on here. Sports Participation Manager at University of Huddersfield. So again, there's lots and lots of different uh, information included within uh, this website. I think it's a really good website for you to look at. So please enjoy going through that in your PE lessons this week. You will have one careers lesson uh, within uh, your core PE lessons in year 7 to 10. So again, you can use the website. Details of it are here. You've got three different webinars that you can view. Again, only pick maybe one that you may be interested in. Some of you may want to go down the sport and science route. Some of you may actually wish to have a look at sports coaching. Uh, so again, there's three that are for you. Again, I'm sure you'll be able to find more when you go into the actual careers in sport website. So hopefully you have a lot of fun with that. And again, lots of different career pathways, apprenticeships as well are on here. So lots and lots of valuable information. So you can have a bit of a research through that careers here. And use that to hopefully maybe uh, find a career pathway for you. So again, you've got different people here. Outdoor activity structure. It's what different PGL travel. You've got a director of personal training school. So again, that's their own business. So again, you've got lots and lots of different people that are on here uh, to help you and make informed decisions regarding career pathways in sport. Now, if any of you do need any help this week, you can. Uh, send me an email and I will get back to you as well. So again, you've got a career path here. And again, there's even some information about universities. If you click onto YouTube, link there, you've got a whole careers in sports, a channel dedicated. A two careers in sport. So you've got lots of different things here that you can uh, log into. How to become a sports coach, qualifications needed. Uh, for a career in sports coaching, coaching skills and styles, how to adapt as a sports coach, uh, career opportunities in sport media. So some of you might be interested in the media side of things. We've got journalists here. So again, you may actually want to write for one of the papers. Uh, I think a lot of you will have seen all ex-footballers that play at, play at the highest level. have always been able to write for different papers, uh, sports journalism. So again, really good videos within that. And also working towards the Korean sport media. So lots and lots of really good information in here. And again, if you just if you scroll down through, you'll be able to find something that maybe uh, will that you have an interest in. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to log on, go into you can click on the YouTube page, and there's lots of different uh, webinars and presentations here for you to view. I think it's a really good website. So please make sure that within your PE lessons you are doing that this week. In addition to that, I will also put on, there's a PowerPoint presentation that I have here. For those of you in year 10 that have walked across the bridge, maybe going around from the year 10 bubble area, going around to the IT rooms, you'll have seen the PE notice board I put up about careers in sport, where can PE take you? And again, this is something for that you can look through. So as you see, where can PE take you? Obviously. I love being a PE teacher. Maybe some of you would like to be a PE teacher. The start range salary does vary. So again, these are just a rough guide and routes into the career, how you can actually get into PE teaching. And I sort of put together the PowerPoint slide for every sort of uh, job or occupation that you can do. So again, a physiotherapist, personal trainer, sports performer athlete, sports coach instructor, sports lawyer, sports journalism. And again, it's a nice little webinar on the actual main website there for careers in sport. We've also got sports commentator. So some of you might want to go on and actually commentate. You know, if some of you might listen to Sky Sports, BT Sports. Again, they've always got sports commentators on there, along with uh, an ex-player usually uh, commentating on the game. And there'll be analysis at halftime from the different pundits that are on there. So if it's something you're interested in. If you look at Talk Sport as well, they're always commentating on different games. And then football, you think rugby, uh, there's lots and lots of different sports. We need sports commentators, athletics. So it might be something that you're interested in. We've also got sports analysts. So again, if you look at all the major sports clubs around the country at the elite level, they all have sports analysts. They're analyzing what players are doing in the game, uh, what athletes are doing, and they're looking at how they can actually improve their performance. 
sports broadcast presenter. So some of you may want to broadcast an actual show like Gary Lineker on Match of the Day. A sports scientist. So again, for those pupils that love science and have a really huge interest in science, maybe a sports scientist would be a pathway for you. We've got a sports psychologist. Uh, put that in perspective. A lot of people have been talking recently about John Stones, and he said that he's come out and been working with a sports psychologist uh, and how that's helped him. Uh, and obviously he's been playing very well for Manchester City. He's got back into the team, and he's used a sports psychologist to help him. So again, some of you may want to go into that side. Leisure operations and management. So again, some of you may want to go and work at a leisure centre, uh, whether that be a public one or a private. So your private like Total Fitness, David Lloyd. A uh, public one might be your local leisure centre. We've also got sports photographers. So you might actually be interested in going to actual different sporting events and taking photographs and then selling them to major national newspapers, etc. Sports marketing, PR and communications. Strength and conditioning coach. It is, where I live, there's actually a new gym open and it's based all around strength and conditioning. They're actually fitting it out at the moment uh, to open in, in May. Uh, sports development officer, so you might actually want to work for one of the national governing bodies, whether that be the RFU or the FA, the Football Association of England, and look at developing maybe football or rugby or different sports uh, within certain areas of the country. I want to work as a sports agent. I know uh, some agents get paid an absolute fortune with the transfers in football, especially. So you might want to be a sports agent. And last but not least, you might actually want to join one of the armed forces, either the Royal Air Force, the Army or the Navy. Now, I am going to put this all on to your PE Teams group so you can view this this week. You, don't, you can stop this presentation at any point, pause and go through. But again, what I'd like you to do in the lesson is pick one of the different videos that are on here, have a view of it, uh, go through again, really lots and lots of good information contained within the website here for you. The webinars are really good, again, you can log on to those yourselves, you don't have to listen to my voice as much, which might be quite nice, but again, please make sure in your core P lessons this week, one lesson you are thinking about your careers, there will also be interviews on with Mr. Argue Mr. Hilton about how they got into PE teaching and what qualifications they did and where they've, how they've got to where they are now from studying uh, for the GCSEs into A levels or vocational qualifications uh, into degree, A level attending university, and then obviously applying and being successful in joining Burnley's Academy for Boys, working as PE teachers. Mr. Johnson will also have an interview on of how he's got into sports coaching. Uh, he has worked in various academies. Uh, throughout his coaching pathway from starting to achieve his level one certificate in football coaching all the way up to where he is in present day and I'll not go too much into that because he'll be able to talk about that and Mr Hilton will talk about Mr Adam but there are journeys through PE and becoming the PE teachers. I hope this has all been quite instructful for you all and everybody will log on next week and use the website and view some of the webinars. If you do have any questions at all, please make sure that you send me an email. I will get back to you. My email is a.trainer at manchester.sch.uk. So a.trainer at burnage.manchester.sch.uk. Okay, enjoy finding out all about careers, gents. Take care now. Thanks a lot. Bye.